This party's over. Mace Windu, confronting Count Dooku on Geonosis Windu and the Jedi prevented the execution of Kenobi, as well as Skywalker and Amidala, both of whom traveled to Geonosis with the intention to help Kenobi, but were quickly confronted by an overwhelming force of battle droids. The Jedi fought bravely, destroying many battle droids in the process, but also sustained a large number of casualties. During the fight, Windu swiftly killed Jango Fett with relative ease, decapitating the bounty hunter, as Boba Fett, a clone whom Jango regarded as a son, watched in horror. Overwhelmed by the droid's superior numbers, the Jedi were cornered into the center of the Geonosian Petronarchy arena. Dooku demanded that the Jedi surrender themselves into separatist custody, but Windu refused to allow himself and his allies to be taken as prisoners of war. Moments later, the arrival of Yoda and the clone army ultimately turned the tide and enabled the Jedi survivors to escape the arena. In the aftermath of the arena skirmish, the first battle of Geonosis officially commenced as thousands of clone troopers engaged the battle droids on the field of war. The remaining members of Windu's assault team took to the field as well, assuming command of the clones who were trained to serve the Jedi with absolute loyalty. Reporting directly to Windu, Clone Commander CT-411, Pons, and five special commando units accompanied the legendary Jedi champion to the forefront of the battle. Windu kept Pons by his side during the rest of the battle. Under the Jedi's leadership, the clone army forced the Separatists into full retreat, abandoning Geonosis to Republic occupation. Windu returned to the capital, content that the first battle resulted in a Republic victory, but was also morose over the failure to capture Dooku. By then Windu came to accept that he had been wrong in his preconception of Dooku's character. His old friend had turned to the dark side, becoming an enemy of both the Order and the Republic. The formation of the Confederacy of Independent Systems shattered a thousand years of peace that once defined the Jedi Order's role in the galaxy. In order to preserve and defend the Galactic Republic, Windu and his fellow Jedi accepted formal command of the clone army as generals and commanders. He also learned from Kenobi about Dooku's assertion that a mysterious Sith Lord by the name of Darth Sidious had hundreds of senators under his control, but Yoda believed that the Council had no incentive to trust the word of a fallen Jedi. Windu nonetheless recommended that the Council maintain a watchful eye on the Senate, having never trusted the highly corrupt government in the first place. As the clone troopers and their Jedi leaders prepared for war, Yoda expressed his sadness to Windu and Kenobi, declaring that the Shroud of Darkness had descended upon the galaxy, now engulfed by the Clone Wars, the first galactic-scale conflict since the formation of the Republic. 